Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, uh, October 28, 2020, for the foreign exchange market. We're going to look at these five currency pairs. And if you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. That really helps us uh, grow this channel and to add more content. Hit the like in order to, well, YouTube algorithms and preferring these videos. And hit the bell button for you to see our newest videos. So we'll start out by looking at the sterling and the great US um, dollar. And as you can see, we have gone back and forward quite a lot. We're still trading above the 50 moving average, which is encouraging. But the technical indicators have changed, I would say, for, for the bears, frankly. The MACD is basically showing signs of weakness. The RSI is flat, the CCI is showing signs of bearishness, and so especially is the stochastic. We are finding uh, support at the 20, uh, if we look at the, the Bollinger Band, at the 20 uh, moving average, but this is just weak candles. And what you basically should be paying attention to is, is, the, is the US dollar index. If we have an appreciation or depreciation of, of the US dollar index, that of course affects this significantly. Um, we've just gone back and forward in the US dollar index at the moment. We haven't have clear signs of where we are going. Uh, we can see in my analysis of US dollar index in my commodities analysis. We start I start out by analyzing the US dollar index there. And um, yes, it has gone back and forward, and it's very similar to what basically what has happened here. It's gone back and forward, but if we break below the 50 moving average, that opens the door to the 100 moving average right underneath. If that breaks, then we open the door to the 300 moving average at 1278, uh, and if we rally from here, we'll find resistance at this top at 1317. So if you look at the US dollar and the yen. We have started to break down as expected. Um, we did rally up towards the 20 exponential moving average. We didn't get there, broke down. At this point, we are just waiting to touch this, um, uh, this lower trend line uh, before going back to the upside. We have been trading within this channel for months now. There is, uh, it is anticipated to continue trading within this channel, a break below this, uh, this trend line here doesn't necessarily mean that we'll go significant lower. We did we did do that right here, but um, as long as we trade in, the, in, the, in between this channel here, then it is rarely predictable. Every time we get close to the to the 50 or the 100 moving average or this, uh, this trend line here, that is a sign that we need to sell. If we get close to the this lower part here, then it's a sign that we can buy and just keep your stop losses so you don't basically ruin your accounts. We are most likely going to see some back and forward. If you see the technical indicators, we are oversold at this point. Uh, 24 is here, and that is significantly oversold. Uh, CCI has basically turned around, but not the MACD, and uh, the stochastic has turned around a little bit. But we need... Uh, an encouraging sign or a pull uh, towards the 50 moving average in order to to uh, to sell this. Um, it is technically late now to sell or buy. We're basically in mid range, so I would just stay away from this. If we get close to this bottom, that's a buy signal. If we get close to the to the 100 moving average, that is basically a selling signal. So we have the euro and US dollar. We're trading above the 50 moving average, but this doesn't look very good. Technical indicators are all turning around. That is not a good sign for the euro and US dollar. Uh, we most likely go towards the 100 moving average, which will be um, support. Uh, but there's just too much resistance above here. We can put a trend line here and can see how often we basically touch this price level. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, nearly 10 times and that means that 1188 is significant resistance if we break that we go higher but getting close to that 
you do the, you should expect to sell and not to buy at this point. So we're trading in between the 100 moving average at 11.72 and the highs here of 11.88. Not a lot of pips, but that is the world where we're living in at the moment. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, it is also, there's nothing happening here really. We are trading between the 50 moving average and we're trading between the 150 moving average here. And before we break one of these moving averages, technically just stay away from this because there's really nothing happening here. If we, if we break the top of uh, uh, the 50 moving average and this, um, this price level here, then of course we'll go higher, but we will run into this resistant area here. And if we break below the 50, 150 moving average, then that opens the door to the 200 moving average. So it's more exciting if it breaks down uh, than it breaks up because we'll just see a lot of choppiness in in the, basically if we if we rally. If you look at technical indicators, they are all over the place. CCI is flat, stochastic is flat, the RSI is basically flat. So MACD is showing signs of bullishness and the, the MACD is uh, the Bollinger Band we're basically right in the middle of things. So we need a real signal in order to enter this market for a seller or a buy. If you look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have rallied up towards the 50 moving average, but this is should be a screamer that stay away from this if you are thinking about buying. Because the maximum this will go is to the 100 moving average. Um, and after that, we mostly see this market com completely collapse to the downside. There's just so much uh, resistance above here. And we tested it so many times that, that even though we get past the 100 moving average, we find the 150, the 300, just above. So I favor the downside. I do believe that in time we are going to test this uh, this um, previous channel line again, but it probably will take a few days. We can see that the technical indicators are turning around, stochastic turning around, MACD turning around, RSI is not turning around, it's basically flat. The same goes with the CCI is flat. So, well, some bad news may get this market to basically collapse to the downside. No interest in buy, buying this. I'm definitely a seller in this market. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by clicking the subscribe button, hitting the bell button, and the uh, like button. That really helps with the um, YouTube algorithms. So, good luck and thank you very much.